Hello, how are you? Hope you're good. Welcome to another Harry Potter themed video and today we are unboxing the Geek Gear Harry Potter crepe thing with this title that I always really don't like to pronounce. <laughs> Geek Gear is a subscription box that has all of the geekery stuff and then Harry Potter branch as well. So I will link I will link the link to the shop down below and you can go ahead and check them out. I've been loving their boxes more and more every month. Um, I have a bunch of other unboxings of this box and other boxes. I link the unboxing playlist and Harry Potter playlist down below if you want to check something else out as well but without further ado let's open this march geek gear box because i really want to i picked this up on like thursday and i couldn't film it on saturday because that's just how my life works <laughs> let's go ahead ah so clean as with most harry potter themed boxes you can choose what kind of house you belong to if you want to have house specific items i think you can also just choose mix or random I think I think no I think you can have mix but you can have a random one so if you want a surprise or something um but yeah um clearly my choice was <laughs> made and you get once you open it you get the wrapping paper of the color of your house and this is ooh, how it looks like you are always promised a wearable item and also they have a wearable box separate from this they have a lot of things like wearable and pens and stuff like that as I said the website is gonna be down below most of the time we have a t-shirt how does it look like? Oh no, it has a person! <laughs> I don't really like when there's like realistic people on the t-shirt. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's not my favorite. It's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. It feels soft though, so that's nice. At least it's not like a picture, it's more like a picture turned painting type of style. So that's nice and it's gonna be brilliant to sleep in though to be honest so it's not it's not too bad this is obviously just a personal choice and some people might love that style anyway moving on we got socks it says geek gear exclusive so i got gryffindor socks and you just basically have a little oh what's on the top let's just unpack it <laughs> i'll regret throwing all of this on the floor <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, so this is like a collar and you have a Gryffindor tie. It's actually not, <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. I don't mind that actually. And they're not too thick, which I like because usually I don't wear longer socks than just like knee-high ones. They seem really thin, not annoyingly thin, but just like thin enough. What I'm saying is that it's nice quality. <laughs> Moving on, it's a box that says handcrafted house wax stamp. Set. I have two other sets already, one for the Chamber of Secrets symbol and one for Hogwarts when I was making Hogwarts letters. <laughs> so, but yeah, we have a house stamp, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a Gryffindor one, which is great because I actually do love to play with stamps. Oh, it's like a tiny one. Okay, so we have one block of, I don't know what the official name is, but we have one block of red wax and then this little here is the Gryffindor stamp. It's so teeny, pretty cool. Okay, next up we have another house specific item. This is quite a lot of house specific items. And this is a set of three pins. So we have like a Gryffindor jumper, the one that I'm wearing at the moment, a scarf and a tie. And I think they're really, really adorable, especially come in a set, because usually we get like one, you know. I think it's a really lovely item. I'm just, if I wanted to be picky, um, I do wish that the color was like the pins that we got last time. This is the pin that we got last time in the last box. It was head girl and head boy, like two this, of the same badge type of pins. And this color I love because this is the color that I see the Gryffindor color as, like a rich wine, not like orangey red type of thing. So for me personally, but I know, as I said in the last video, I'm not a fan of bright, like verging on neon type of colors, but I know and some people said in the comments that they are, so of course it's a very personal thing. I think I would love it just like a little bit more if it was that kind of thing. It's still a really, really lovely set and I, and I love that it comes with three. Okay, next up we have this licensed item and that's a multicolor pen, like the ones that you used when... I assume you probably used when you were a kid. And that thing... This thing spins, or it's supposed to spin. It says authentic. This is from the Weasley shop. Yeah, it's just a multicolor pen. <laughs> okay, so we knew that in the March box we're gonna have a wand, so I'm gonna leave this for last because this is definitely the most exciting item that you can get in a Harry Potter theme box, in my opinion. Well, one of them. Some, some of the items are like... 
And as always, we get some recipes for the Harry Potter cookbook that we got in, I think, January. I actually had a look because I wanted to let you know that even if you didn't receive the January box and you didn't get the binder for the recipes, you can get that on their website as a separate item, which I thought was nice because what if you missed it and you wanted the official binder for these? Each month we get extra recipes and I think it's kind of cute. And I asked you guys if you would like to see me cook some and a lot of you said you would. So I might try that, it just might be after April, <laughs> but I might try that. So this month we actually got some cookie cutters. I'm assuming that's for this and this is magical butter cookies. And you can see that the shapes are for a snitch, sorting hat and an owl. So this is what we got here and it's actually really really cute. Maybe this is the one that I'm gonna make. I never actually made cookies that I had to like insert some sort of shapes on top. <laughs> I haven't made cookies properly maybe ever so this is gonna be really interesting but I think it's but I think it's a really really nice addition that they add that they give you the cutters as well as the recipe as like last time they gave us the mold for the chocolate frog and chocolate frog recipes I think it's a really really nice uh, addition then we also have butterscotch fudge uh, which <laughs> really really looks so delicious <laughs> and then we have fever fudge it looks so fun look at those colors yes one day this is gonna be super fun and the last step before the one we have the print and i think this might be my favorite print we've ever gotten and that's this gorgeous print i'm sorry if you can hear bagpipes i live in scotland sometimes i just can't get away from bagpipes but yeah this is fox the phoenix and this is an absolutely stunning art print i really like this type of design so for me this is an absolutely gorgeous print i just love it i really want to frame this and hang it somewhere because it's just so beautiful and it's it's licensed and exclusive mine got like a tiny bit bent but just the carton thing it's not actually print didn't actually get bent so very nicely protected love that look at that it's beautiful okay and then lastly we come to the box oh <laughs> on the very top it says to run try Tried fixing your wand, hope it works okay. Love, mum. So I'm assuming we're gonna have Ron's wand and you open it and there's like a uh, wrapping paper inside. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. It's actually like a... So this is the one that Ron broke and then... Oh, this looks way more broken than I imagined it ever being. Because it's just like clear liquid and you can see like the core and like a splinter of wand inside it's way way more simple than other ones for example this one was also from theirs and i think this one's obviously more detailed and really beautiful this is my favorite one by the way i think that i have from um subscription boxes i love all of them to be honest but the harry's one it was just like really lovely like uh handle so this is obviously really really simple but I think that just the fact that it was the one that was broken and then it was like taped together and it looks more like glue and you can see in the inside it, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's absolutely hilarious and I actually really love that. I love that. I think it's, I think it's funny. Oh man, poor Ron. So this is the broken and fixed wand. And that is actually everything. Very lastly, not as an item, but just for your information, they include this really handy leaflet that they start doing it because um, they include the price. So they're priced the one for $9.99, which is very generous for a one because ones are expensive. Uh, then the color pen was $3.99, the cookies $2.99, kind of high, but they didn't price the actual recipes and I'm sure it like costs to print house uh, pin sets and this is the colors they use for all the other houses i'm not sure you'll be able to see that was 11.99 wax stamps 7.99 house tie socks 4.99 shirt is 9.99 as always and phoenix print is 4.99 um i think my favorite item obviously is the wand and then after that i really admire that they included the cookie cutters because i'm actually really excited about that and the print surprisingly this is not my favorite box out of their other boxes but i do really like the item so it wasn't a bad box by any means and this is hilarious <laughs> poor ron <laughs> 
Anyway, as I said, I will leave the link down below. Let me know what you thought, what was your favorite item. I really, truly just love this print so much. Hope you guys are well. Let me know how you are doing. Are you excited for the owl readathon soon? Are you excited to sit your owls? Because I really am. Hope you guys are good. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon. Tomorrow, actually. <laughs> Bye.